Resumption of exercise. Yes. Hello, come, come, come close now. Uh -huh. Then take your shots. Eh? Good. Resumption of physical exercises again. Eh? Yes, yes, Jog a little while, sir. Huh? Jog a little while, sir. I'm just a little So this is a part three, the three different lengths of the hundred to two hundred meters. Four hundred meters. Okay. Five hundred meters. Okay. So this shorter one, you can get there for one. So if you get in the hole for the straight away, that's holy one. Okay. So we, it's been known to happen so that normally some car dealer or somebody can put on a, a beautiful car, a sports car. Okay, for a surprise. Yes. Ah. A lot of people have been known to win. But the first person to get the holding one is the one who takes it. Ah. I, in my uh, 40 years of golfing, I've made uh, 12 holding ones. Wow. It took me 13 years before I made the first one. And then, <laughs> So it's a, it's a skill and luck all combined. Yes. So, the so let's, let's, let's start with some. Oh, what happened? Oh. Bring the yellow one. Before you hit, it's good to complex your yeah. Come this way. Come okay. Okay, be combat as well. Try to stretch it like this. No way. Let's use one hand. Yes, press. Drop this one. Drop it. Drop it. Take the hand right down. And drop. Drop. Just put it down. Right in front of this. So since you're going to go there, you're going to aim. From here, mm. and so you put the hand um, in front of it. Mm. Hit it now, let's see. Hit it one more. Let me use the other side. One more. So this one will go too far. It will go too far. Uh -huh. So the, the idea is to put the club face in the direction you want to go, then arrange yourself around it. Then you are there. So if you go. If you put this foot line up here, and then let his hand towards this one. So it's now in the right direction. I'll okay, try this one. This one is good, a bit bigger. Try this. This is your own. It's a very long one. <laughs> you can make it. You can make it. Go to the next one. Say like this. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let it right now. Put it there. And then move forward a bit. Right hand. Like 
Because the right thing is for yes, it to right. go up. Yes, sir. It can go up. You can also hit it low. It eh? it low. Just, eh? just swing, swing through. Um, the ball, eh? Yeah, okay. Why didn't you stand there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. And keep it right behind. Uh -huh. Nice. Keep it right behind the ball. Okay. Right behind the ball. Right behind the ball. Behind the ball. Right behind the ball. <laughs> <laughs> right behind the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Good, 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 good. Yeah, 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 Show me the one that. No, it's Your Majesty, when are you bringing the lady that will show? Francis, Francis. I've, I've sent for her. She's on the way. Yeah. Yeah. This one, the show, the face is face. Look at original. Yeah. Come on, Look at the direction you want to go. There. Then you arrange yourself this is the way. Then you go. And you finish right through, swing. through yes. Okay. Not just uh, there comes a time when you are you are near the green, when we go late later. But mm. this is so you go. Yeah. Deliberately everything you're doing, you love this. this is there. And, uh, yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. So, beautiful. the tea box you are allowed to use the tea, but the rest of the this thing we so you get. So we can go close up. Okay, let's game. let's go. And you string all your waist. Uh, that's why the waist of golfers is very active. Can you bring it down to the right side? Okay. You find some of the older golfers, you see them going like this, like this. It's all part of the game, okay. aligning themselves. Okay. <laughs> but when you got to the ball, you're not supposed to wait too much behind it. Okay. But this is too long. <laughs> and uh, that adds up to the time to play the round of golf. This, yeah. this was the one you hit. <laughs> so you are supposed to hit it now. Right. Again. We, we will now try to hit it to the green. And try again the same routine there, and you get it here. This time you're going to hit it only halfway, like you were doing that earlier. Now, because you wanted to get there and stay there, okay, not to overshoot. So, okay. see if you can get it onto the surface. That surface is brown now, but it's supposed to be green. You can use this one. That's it. Name by road. Normally <laughs> filled <laughs> with red sand. Nice and soft. But uh, you will not say you don't say that. That is your... You don't want to be pretty tree, so... Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you use this one, huh? Yes. Normally, something will have to be... This time, you don't ground the club. Okay. You keep it dangling. You hit it. Sure, sure, no, okay, sure, no, one. So, but it's a half three, but keeping your, just turn your shoulders, keep the club, you send the. Don't ground it, don't yeah, touch yeah. it down. Okay. <coughs> That's it. You have to hit it clean. Okay. Well, if you're around the green, you can still chip it in and also that it. Wow! So yeah, you, just, you, you, you just take it. Come on. Push it in. Bring the ball. Let me 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 bring the ball. Let me
In the good city. His Excellency is having its uh, first uh, golf lessons on the course. And of course, being tutored by a veteran, a man who has uh, won so many tournaments. Good. Oh, it has been too far. But you almost. The green. So that's tournaments has also been rewarded with the longest drive <laughs> in several tournaments I've covered. Mm. At the longest drive. Mm. Longest drive is uh, another one for the big boys. That's it. That's where that's the comedy. That's where the golf game. You're good in body. Good. You got it. Yeah, please. You got this. That's what you want. Well, excellently, that is uh, basically the goal. You play the bunker. You notice um, you don't run your job. Yeah. And then you now you to hit the ball and up. You for so many years, at least from 1985, I covered a lot of your tournaments. And of course, you're just uh, starting uh, to dish out the early lessons in the game to our governor. How has it been the first uh, day uh, with the governor on the golf course? Oh, here is uh, I mean, he's a first class student. <laughs> you, you can see when he potted, he even hit the pin. <laughs> so uh, he's got the hang of it. I think he's a natural golfer. So going forward, uh, from what you've seen uh, today, how early do you think uh, uh, you launch him into perhaps uh, a tournament uh, either here or somewhere? We have a first-class coach um, who used to play in the Futures Tour in Dallas. And um, she will be able to give him all the rest of the lessons. And um, I'm sure before Easter, uh, he should be able to play the round of golf. He would have got all the um, techno, uh, technical terms and also know which club to use at any given time. You're allowed to carry up to 14 different clubs. Wow, wow. 14 clubs. Anything more than 14, you're not overloaded. So um, a complete set will be fitted out for him for his height and this. You can now have clubs fitted out properly. Um, all those little things count. But for beginners, you can have a simple clubs. Uh, it out for the how, how soon, just the last one, how soon do you think he's likely to have a respectable handicap? You know, as a, a golfer, you need to have Talking a respectable like a handicap. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we start for the men, we start them with a handicap of uh, 28. And uh, the moment he can shoot around the 100 for a round, he will give him the 28. He has to work towards it. It's, it's, uh, it's just um, like, say, a license. You know, safe enough to drive or to play the game without hitting people. So he will start off with a 28 handicap. Um, we could give him that um, as soon as he can pick and hit the clubs. Uh, within between now and the, in the next six weeks, we should, he should be ready. Amazing. Okay, uh, let me now go over to His Excellency, the of former Pepe. Uh, Your Excellency, your first lessons, although you've been coming here, but to me, I think you've uh, just played golf for the first time because it's the first time you're coming in a real complete uh, outfit to play golf. How has it been, you know, with your first day on the course with uh, uh, a veteran like uh, His Excellency King APJ Smith? Well, you've asked me how has it been. Uh, it's been wonderful. Uh, let me thank and appreciate our father and our leader, His Majesty, for taking our time to um, give me my first lessons, I should say, in golfing. But much more than that, he's been the real inspiration for this golf uh, development here. And again, I thank him for that. Um, I also thank the contractors who are, by every account, doing an excellent job. This uh, golf course and this golf estate is clearly going to be one of the best in this country. Um, as you all know, this is not just a golf course. This is a golf estate where we have already available over 300 um, high-end plots uh, and they are open to the general public, open to Bielsons, they are open to Nigerians, they are open to uh, the investing public who are interested in having leisure homes, vacation homes um, in Yenagoa that we are fast turning to be the Dubai uh, and the Florida uh, of Nigeria. So uh, I want to say that uh, 
I'm impressed with the development that I've seen here, coupled with the polo, uh, the polo uh, field over there. This is part of the new Yenagua city, and we are proposing to unveil it uh, to the world, unveil this major development that is going to signpost our readiness as a tourism hub in this country and in our sub-region. Uh, that will be done by April, May. Um, so we have a wonderful golf course coming up, uh, which is much more than a golf course. It's also a golf estate. And uh, I look forward to saying more uh, when we do the official unveiling. But today I'm grateful uh, to His Majesty um, for putting me through my very first lessons in golfing. And it's been, it's been exciting. Yes, and just one more question before you go. Uh, you started it off from the tee. Uh, you hit the ball down the fairway, of course, to the first obstacle, the bunker. You try to dig it up from the bunker into the green. Uh, which of these uh, aspects or uh, tasks would you say was uh, uh, more difficult or most difficult? And which well, was uh, all of easiest? It, all, of it, all of it has been, has been, has been interesting enjoyable and I can see you're an expert in <laughs> golfing yourself or at least in covering golfing tournaments um, so we're going to have excellent players from all over the world coming and um, uh, very experienced people like you also commenting on it but let me also use this opportunity to say when this development is set uh, a lot of our young people uh, will be encouraged to take uh, golfing lessons and also lessons in polo um, so that um, we can expand the frontiers, not just of tourism, but also of sports development. Thank you, things, um, golf is not a popular sport in Bayelsa. How popular can we make it? Well, I, I don't know the basis of your assumption that golf is not popular. If it's not popular enough, then that's the reason we're embarking on this development to make it more popular. Uh, it's going to be an exciting thing making our state the headquarters of tourism, headquarters of golfing, headquarters of polo, headquarters of swimming and of wrestling and of all the other sports, sports tourism, sports tourism, educational tourism, health tourism. That's how that's the foundation we've been working hard to lay in the last uh, um, six years. In addition to cultural tourism, which our you know our carnival will start off this year, and Bayelsa is going to be tourism, tourism, as I always say. The future of this state is beyond oil and gas. The future of this state is an agriculture, our industrial park, utilizing our gas resources to provide adequate power to attract manufacturers. The future of this state is in expanding the frontiers of tourism. You can't get a more beautiful, more serene environment than the environment we have in Bayelsa. So if you're out there looking for vacation homes, you don't need to go outside Nigeria. Come here to Bayelsa. And you have your waterfront properties, you have your waterfront homes, you have your vacation homes, and our state is safe. The new Yanagua city is even going to be extra safe. We're already deploying CCTV uh, electronic uh, surveillance, deploying technology, and we have an heliport, uh, which we're going to, by the way, name next week after His Majesty, the King APD SP heliport, uh, that will take as many as eight to ten helicopters at the same time so we run shuttle services so you, it's, and you have the the hotels here right here in this new Yanagawa city uh, so you land here uh, you stay here you do your shopping here you, you relax here enjoy yourself play golf play polo play tennis play all kinds of enjoy yourself and then go back okay thank you thank you excellency okay is this the coach you hold your coach ah, ah, ah. four. My coach, you are welcome. Scratch, no? Scratch. You, no? Scratch. you have a very, uh, very eager student <laughs> who has been waiting for you. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, uh, look forward to having starting our lesson. Maybe by tomorrow. Uh, but let's walk around. Let's walk around. Huh? Your Majesty. Thank you, sir. Uh, today, I mean, bless you too. I will make some releases for that.